Hello everybody, again. <laughs> For those of you who joined us live, I'm so sorry that the sound messed up. Um, we turned it on and then started going and that's what happened. So we apologize, we're re-recording it and we're gonna post it now so you can actually get the information that you want or need actually to participate in this week-long program. So hello everybody, I'm Jeremy Bolum, Assistant Director at, here at Lincoln Parish Library, joined with Casey Richard, our Marketing Manager, here to start you off with the library's week-long digital beach party, which celebrates all of the library's digital resources that we have available for our patrons. And we're starting off today with all of our e-resources, which includes uh, downloadable e-books, audiobooks, music, movies, TV shows, and in some cases more. So um, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And Casey is our resident expert. We're gonna declare her our resident expert in e-resources. And she's my guest today to help me out with this. Um, I would do wanna say though, to please come by the library and pick up your event guide for this so that you can not only follow along with what's going on every day, but to also do the activities for each day. And for today, we are going to uh, e-resource falls. So we're kind of on vacation here with our little um, digital beach party. So we're going to go on a little road trip and everybody on your road trip is gonna need some kind of digital resource to entertain them while they're on the road trip. So that's today's activity. Won't that be an interesting way to get you out there and explore what we've got to do. So Casey, start off by telling us how do you get to these resources? Okay, so you're going to get to these resources um, mostly in your app store on your phone. So iPhones, you're gonna go to your app store and then droids, you're, you're gonna go to your store as well. Um, but you're gonna be able to search for these apps in there. Um, Hoopla is on there, Tumble Books is on there, Freegal is on there. Um, Overdrive has their original app, Overdrive. They also have their companion app, Libby. Um, they're supporting both of those apps right now. Um, if you go to our website and you go all the way to the bottom, the website is mylpl.org, um, there's going to be some quick links to those apps at the bottom. Um, and it's also going to explain to you how to download those when you click on those quick links. Um, and then also you can get to those by clicking on the resources tab at the top of our website. Um, and you'll be um, directed to a digital resources page there as well. Um, so yeah, mostly you will be getting your tablet and you will be going to the app store and you will go to download these apps there. Um, the top three are probably going to be Hoopla and Libby. Um, Overdrive and Libby are pretty much one and the same. And then um, I would say our Tumble Books and our Freegal kind of are neck and neck there. Yeah, there, there are two resources that a lot of our patrons don't either know about or haven't used before. So we are going to talk about those in a little bit. Um, one thing I do want to point out, the Overdrive app, the original Overdrive app has a um, a unique feature that Libby doesn't do. Libby is an e-reader and a audiobook player, basically. The other um, app has access to a collection of videos as well that you can stream. So that's kind of cool that they're still supporting that part of that service that kind of wasn't as popular, but, th but there's another way to access some different stuff. So um, tell us a little bit about what kind of things you can find in each one, even though I kind of just mentioned that. I'm sure you can tell us a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, Hoopla has your standard eBooks, audio books, your digital uh, streaming services. So if you wanna ditch that Netflix subscription for a little while, you can get on there and you can stream books free every month. They kind of drop titles and pick them up just like Netflix. Um, so definitely get on there and check those out. If you're a commuter and you like audiobooks, Hoopla and Libby both support those. Freegal is a um, service that we were talking about earlier that supports um, music. So you get five free downloads every month. You can keep those in your collection indefinitely. Um, and it's great for those of you that want to build a playlist for a party or an event or something of that nature and you don't want to have ads play, um, but you don't want to pay for a service such as 
um, iTunes, iMusic or iTunes or um, with Spotify. Spotify. Um, so, you know, you can download those songs and you can put together a playlist and you don't have to hear any ads in between, which I really love. I hate those ads. So, um, really enjoy that service. Um, also, it's great for a road trip if you want to put that together um, and listen to that on the road. Um, I love an audiobook, so I listen to lots of audiobooks on I do my too. e-services. For real, um, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, it's very um, convenient if you're traveling to have those on your tablet, if you're in the waiting room or something of that nature and you want to read some of your book, you can have that on your phone. Um, for students, we have a lot of our students that are going back to school. Um, so for students, we really like to mention that um, Hoopla has the classics on there. So the English teachers, we're going to give y'all a shout out. The Hoopla service has all of the classic novels on there. Um, not everyone is a great reader when it comes to the physical medium, so we love to be able to mention that the students can have that book in their hands and they can also play that audio book and they can read along. And that's really a great service for our early readers all the way up into our adult readers. Um, sometimes, you know, I've done that. I've had the physical book and, and like just to hear it as well. Um, you'll be surprised how quick you'll start reading just other books that aren't audio. Um, and kids like to be able to start learning their sight words that way, follow along with it. So if the adult doesn't have time to read or the ability to read at that moment, they can put the audio book on for the kid and, and they can follow along as well. So lots of, lots of good services for all ages. Um, the curated lists are easy to search. Um, you can search by different genres. You can search by, um, you know, children's. Um, you can search by award-winning books, things of that nature. Um, and the lists that they put together are just really fantastic. I love to go through them and look at their suggestions. I feel like our librarians probably give the best suggestions, but they give maybe the second best suggestions. Yeah, Hoopla is a born they come from a company that's a, a library vendor, so they do know how library patrons like things. So they've done a good job of putting things together they think that you'll enjoy, especially themes for the month. They do, um, I know, special collections for every, every month and different yeah. different times of the year. So Hoopla is obviously our favorite resource, and from use of patrons, audiobooks and Hoopla is, the num is everybody's favorite here in Lincoln Pair. So we appreciate your use of Hoopla and hope that you will branch out some in there and find something else to do. So Casey, what would you, if someone said, okay, I, I like to use um, Libby, but I would like to get into Hoopla use, what would be your best tip to get them going? Okay, so my best tip is to just get on there and search and play around because you're not gonna hurt anything, you're not gonna do anything. Um, if you're going to check out a book, it's gonna ask you to confirm it before you check it out. So if you're just kind of clicking around on your phone, um, you know, you can just back right out of it before you have to confirm something. So really on all of these apps that we've been talking about, I would just have to suggest getting on there and just playing around. Um, and you can get on our website and look at a list of all of those services. Um, also, one thing that I would really like to note, and I'm glad that I have Jeremy here to give you more information on this, is that if you have a tablet or a device um, or a computer and you need help getting one of these apps on there and getting access to one of these digital services on your personal device, you can call um, one of our staff members and schedule an appointment to get um, some assistance with that and we will get that app on your device and we will give you a little walkthrough, a little tutorial of how to use that. Um, and that is by appointment base only and I will let Jeremy give you some more information about that but we'd really love to see you use that service. Yeah, we call that our Tech Brarian service. So you basically get to get one of us one-on-one -on -one for a, 
about an hour to help you out with any kind of topic actually that has to do with technology but for this kind of thing it's a good way to get a private lesson on how to get started in this so all you have to do is call the research and reader services department at 513-5510 and ask for a tech variant appointment and they'll just ask you a couple of questions what do you want to learn what it, what kind of device do you have that kind of thing so you would just bring all that with you at your appointment and we would get you set up and those are available from when we open at nine all the way till we close at eight most nights so um mm -hmm. that's and on the weekend of course as well we're open nine to six on saturday and one to five on sunday so we hope you'll take that opportunity and do that yeah and i could go on on and on and on about how wonderful our digital services are and what an asset that they are but um, instead, I will just remind you to come in and grab your guide and right. in all of the different excursions. Each excursion has a, a daily prize that you can win if you complete that excursion and turn it in at the end of the event. So today's prize is a set of sunglasses since you're going to be journeying on the road in your road trip. So there's some pineapple sunglasses. They're a lot of fun. So that's the prize for today's um, excursion and if you do if you do one each day then you get to go in the drawing for each one of those you do four of them during the week then you go into a bigger drawing to win some other prizes including a plush version of our mascot for the week Penny the pineapple as you can see Penny is everywhere we have pineapples all over the place in fact Penny's getting ready to just pop in here and tell us about the other part that you can do to win another prize which is to find the digital treasure on the treasure map. Okay, awesome. So these guys can, these maps can be found in your guide whenever you stop in. Um, and so, yeah, we love Penny. We love Penny and she'll just pop up whenever. You're never gonna know when you're gonna see her in, in the day, so be sure to tune in and watch. And so she's got our first clue for the day. Oh, come on. Is it corny or what? No, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the clue today for the treasure map, where the treasure is located on the map. Clue one, it can be found on a mountain. So lots of mountains. On lots here. of mountains doesn't narrow it down very well. So I guess you're going to have to tune in again tomorrow when we, start, we do a database deep dive, um, which explores a lot of the EBSCO digital services that the library has for you to use. So until then, I'm Jeremy Bolum, and this is Casey Richard. We're here at Lincoln Parish Library, and we hope to see you soon. Goodbye.